Cold one this morning. Just out fixing one wee gap I forgot to fix. That's it done now. Uh, then the cows will be let out into this field. It's quite frosty, but it'll flash off. It'll be gone in no time. It was quite a busy yard this morning, but everyone's heading out already. This trailer has got the feed on it. I'm going to put some spring oat seed on it. It's going along the road. Um, Kevin and Dunk are out with uh, discs and drill. More spring barley sown. Should finish kind of early afternoon in the field here, and then we're going to abandon that and go to spreading fur and spraying. Eggs, we're needing to catch up a bit on that. The cows came flying out, but the calves are a bit more stubborn. Probably a bit cold for them this morning. I saw the calves out now. Went fairly smoothly by one calf, which she was being a nightmare. Ended up manky, but we're all right now. Happy to be out in the grass. Starving. A bit late to them this morning. Just putting those calves out took a bit longer than I thought. So this minerals for cattle so it's an additive you put it into their feed mix it with the barley and um, gives them the vitamins they need the minerals they need to grow and be healthy and um, specifically this is for fattening cattle so and um, for weight gain cows are way out in the grass now i'm just going to throw on the rollers catch up there's a couple of fields here to do i'm just out on the rollers at the moment I thought I'd give you an overview of what the, the year looks like for us. So the winter crops, they're showing September, October. That includes winter barley, winter rose, winter wheat, uh, and oilseed rape. Then you move into the winter where it's cold, wet, you're not really in the field that often. Then spring comes around, and that's when we've got all the fields ploughed and prepared for the spring crops, which is spring barley and spring oats. These are sown uh, and established. Then you wait while they grow, flourish. And then towards the end of summer, we start combining it early August. First week, second week in August. Combine all the crops. And at the same time as we're doing that, we're then starting to cultivate the ground and drill the, win the, w the winter crops again, so that's the kind of life cycle. And during that time, throughout the year, there's periods where we need to apply sprays, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, eh, and fertilizers. We're just out shifting a stone and came across a wee worm. We like worms on the farm. Imagine this is a cross section of the soil. As the worms travel, they open up pockets and that allows moisture and water to drain drain away when it's been raining a lot. They also break down organic matter, leaves, grass, whatever might still be in the soil, the old stubble from the last crop, break it down into uh, an absorbable form of fertilizer for the, the following crop. They also, the pathways, add a bit of fluffiness to the soil and removes compaction. The cows are still in the field, so they've either not found the gaps that I've fixed or I've fixed them pretty well. Hopefully the second. So I've just finished this field here, finished rolling it. So first of all, it was ploughed, 
uh, to put the old stubble underneath, bring up new micronutrients. Then it was disked to level it off a wee bit to let the drill go a wee bit quicker. Then it was sown with spring barley seed. And I've just rolled it to lock the moisture in, keep it keep it a bit flatter for the, the sprayer to have a better chance of the herbicide working all the way across it. The sprayer will come in in the next week, 10 days, spray it off for the herbicide, which will deal with any weeds that are going to come through. And then after that, the crop will peek through the ground and it'll be a nice sea of green. Just on the grubber now, it's got 10 legs on it. They all sit kind of eight to 12 inches into the ground and they just add a bit of fluff into it, break up any hardness in it, any compaction. You can see, you can see all this stuff has all been, all been run on. So it's very compact and hard. So this just breaks it all up. Best thing about this field, my granny's house is just on the left, so I can nip in for a, for a biscuit. Today's question of the day, on the forklift, what's this for? It's got a wee foldy bit on the spring and it's got seven, seven wee holes. Have a guess. Just heading along the road now to spread some urea on some uh, winter barley. Uh, that's nitrogen. There's a few fields to do along the road and then that'll be us for the night. This forklift goes a wee bit faster, 40k. Unlike the last one, 25k. Doesn't take an age to get anywhere. Just a way to spread this urea, which is 46% nitrogen. And that just gives the plant some oomph and away up it goes. Just spreading fertilizer at the moment. This is on the winter barley. I don't usually drive the fertilizer spreader, that's what Kev usually drives this, but he's off tomorrow for a bit, so I'm learning how to use it, just in case we need to spread some tomorrow. So how this works, the hopper in there is filled with that white product, which is urea. Drops down, there's a spinner there and a spinner there on the other side. As they rotate, it drop, the urea drops down and it's thrown, it's scattered. I don't know if you can make it out. Those wee, wee white dots, that's it being spread. So 12 meters that way, 12 meters that way and this field's getting done at a rate of 150 kilos per hectare. In a field of rape, the big patch here, this is a big wet patch, we got really, really heavy rain just after this was sown back in September time. It's looking okay now, there's a few patchy bits. It's also got some weevil through it, which is a wee bug, which is burrowed into some of the crops, so some of the crop is this height, which is about a foot and a half at the moment, and some other, some more of the crop is only half a foot, a foot tall, because the weevils burrowed down in the main shoot, so the main shoot's non-existent. So it will, it will come away as a form of crop, but it won't be as good as the stuff that's not been attacked, the crop that's not been attacked. So it's looking okay, could be better. We've got three fields of rape. The other one along the road looks a bit better than this. This one looks okay. This fertilizer is a granular urea, which is 46% nitrogen. The rest is just packing material to hold the nitrogen. So it's spread 12 meters that way, 12 meters that way. We use 24 meter width of tram line and, and sprayer. So. This crop, now it's got a big dose of urea nitrogen, which is just a booster for its growth, should now really start to fire up the way. It's, very, it's really sunny at the moment. It is cold, so the soil's colder, which doesn't help its growth. But otherwise it'll start to shoot up if the temperature rises as well. So the fertilizer, 250 kilos per hectare. That works out as 25 grams in every square meter of this field. Again, tiny, tiny amounts. 25 grams is peanuts. And only 46% of that 25 grams is actually nitrogen. The rest is packing material. So 11, 12 grams of nitrogen in every square meter. 
as well as this rape getting fertilizer, the sprayer's been going. It's currently in that field over there. That's winter oats. Uh, the diggers have just arrived. Uh, that's the uni monk that transports them. There's a couple of diggers in there. It's a wet patch around about the woods. We're gonna get that drained. That should help. And there's going to be spring oats going that field. So this is, we have an Amazon uh, fertilizer spreader. Um, basically, around the outside of the field, the Endrick spreading fertilizer, that paints you the shape of the field. And then we're just trying to paint in all the rest of the field. So it's all green and that means it's all covered. I'm also using the tractor GPS to keep me going dead straight in the tram lines. And I'll turn at the end, way back in and keep painting. That's all for this video. If you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it'll help it get further, reach more people. And also have a guess at the plug on the back of this forklift. What's the plug for?